Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. If you guys have a BMW guys 3 Series Generation E90, E91, 92, 93 and you're trying to find where your water pump is located guys, stay with us and we'll explain that. As you can see, it's not on the belt. We will explain on that six cylinder engine, but actually may be helpful on other engines as well because many BMW use that design of water pump. Before we start, let me introduce you to the channel guys. Every single car we get at the shop, we make at least 200 free repair videos. Specifically on BMW 3 Series, we will have close to 4 500 videos. Why we do that? Because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need guys in return, please subscribe to the channel and like the video so we can keep providing that free information. If you guys need to buy a new water pump, any replacement parts, tools, uh, BMW certified coolant guys because it's very important for the cooling system of your BMW otherwise you can cause damage to the water pump uh, radiator hoses all that stuff we'll have the link shared in the description of the video below for your convenience also we have another channel that's called electrical car repair life we share quite helpful information about diagnostics engine codes relays and fuses guys so as you can see we have the radiator part taken apart, radiator fan, all that is there guys because we'll be making quite a few videos on that engine and uh, without having anything removed on the phone we cannot show you where that pump is located especially this one being the all-wheel drive makes things even more complicated so this is the engine guys now most of you will think that the pump is driven by the serpentine belt right okay most of the times you think okay that pump has to be on the belt it's driven by the belt like the previous generation 3 series the e46 but nowhere here it's found you have ac compressor crankshaft pulley you have power steering pump and alternator so where is that pump guys you start looking at it guys okay and what do you see right here down here okay there is a device with a big wire going to it guys so what is that that is your power uh, that is your water pump guys right here that is your water pump cooling pump the uh antifreeze pump guys this is the pump for the engine so now it has two hoses that connect to it and one side is the thermostat hose this is your thermostat this is the pump you can see it's on the bottom left side of the engine uh, we'll have a complete video that will talk about how to remove it how to replace it and if you need to buy the pump i recommend to uh, replace the thermostat as well we'll put links in the description of the video below where you can get them from uh, but it takes quite a bit of work guys and uh, some people say they do it without removing all that stuff but uh, in my opinion guys okay uh, we'll just go ahead and remove the radiator okay in the front clip because otherwise we won't be able to show you anything with a great detail how to do all that stuff but pretty much the pump here has only three bolts one here and two on the bottom and also uh, two hoses that attach to it hopefully the video will be helpful to any of you trying to locate the pump if you need to replace it complete video is coming soon thank you for watching guys and see you next time